Hello friends, today I am going to discuss about object initializers in c -sharp. what it is and how and when to use in a c -sharp program. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon, that way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Ok, without any further delay, let's get started. What is object initializer in c -sharp? Object initializers enables us to assign values to any accessible fields or properties at the time of creating an object without having to invoke a constructor followed by lines of assignment statement. This feature is available in C-Sharp 3.0 and ever version. Ok, let's try to understand with the help of example shown over here. So, object initializer writing is very simple. Like we create object of a type, similarly we write object initializer. Only difference is we write opening and closing curly braces and in between we assign the values to fields or properties of that type. So that's why here I wrote imply imply is equal to new imply and opening and closing curly braces and in between I have assigned the value of the first name to Harry and last name to Potter and these two are separated by the comma and that's what if you see first name is equal to Harry comma and last name is equal to Potter right and at last we need to give semicolon here right after the closing curly braces as we write for every statement in C sharp right so that's it it's easy isn't it okay now we discuss why object initializer in C sharp is needed why C sharp creator realized its need so there are a couple of reasons behind it number one easy and faster assignment of values of an object's properties and fields number two no need to write multiple parameterized constructor for assigning the values to properties and fields Let's suppose we are interested to initialize different set of properties at the time of creation of object. So we usually write multiple parameterized constructor with different combination of input parameters, right? So there are so much code we need to write it with those combinations. But here with object initializer, we don't need to write these multiple parameterized constructor, but still we can do it with the help of object initializer easily and quicker. So we will see some examples later point of time. Okay. Number three, it's very useful in creating anonymous type. So in creation of anonymous types, object initializer play a key role, right? Number four, more readable and provide concise syntax. So it makes our code more readable using the concise syntax, right? We can also use object initializer with the anonymous types. If you see this example, I have created an object of the anonymous type that has two properties, first name and the last name. That's what I have written where obj is equal to new here opening and closing curly braces and semicolon and in between I have written this first name is equal to Harry and last name is equal to Potter. Only difference is I have not mentioned type over here. If you see this example for this one we are using the concrete type so here we are writing new imply but if you see here I have not mentioned any type of here so that is nothing but the anonymous type. So we can also use object initializers with the anonymous types. We also use object initializers in link query expression. So here is the link query where I have instantiated anonymous type with the help of object initializers where last name and first name for each employee are going to be selected from the employee list. That's what I have written where implies info equal to form e in implies select new e dot last name e dot first name. If you want to change the last name and the first name we can do so easily. What we need to do we just need to give this come some name for example I just gave L name is equal to E dot last name F name is equal to E dot first name so this anonymous type will be having with the new attribute name itself right okay now let's have a quick look for the object initialization in a traditional way so here what we are doing we are calling a constructor for creating the implies instance and then we are assigning the values to its properties that's what I have written imply imply is equal to new imply so here I have instantiated imply class right and that's what this statement is after creating the instance of the imply class what I am doing I am accessing the properties with the help of object and then I am assigning value to it that's what I have written imply dot first name is equal to Harry imply dot last name is equal to Potter please note that the object initializer syntax that we write it is eventually going to get converted by compiler in traditional way only. So if you see this query right this query or this query it is going to get converted with this one only by the compiler. So 
object initializer help us to instantiate object in easy and faster way and it's more readable and it helps a lot in the link queries right okay now let's switch to the visual studio and see all these things in action okay so here we are on visual studio here we are going to see the demo of the object initializer in csha so for that what i have done i have created a console application this console application named is object initializer demo and it has program.cs file in program.cs file we have two classes under this namespace object initializer namespace demo right first class is imply the second class is program okay so now if you see this imply class what i have done i have created couple of auto implemented properties i have written public int id get set public string first name get set public string last name get set and public int is get set and then we have constructors this one public imply that is nothing but the parameter less or default constructor this one next constructor that is having only one input parameter this one is having two input parameters id and f name this one is having two parameters f name and last name you see we have different combination the first one is going to accept only id value second one is going to accept id and f name the third one it is going to accept f name and l name right so we need to write multiple constructor over here anyway and we have one print me method that basically is going to accept this imply object and from that imply object we are retrieving id first name last name and the age and then we are populating into this console window right that's what i have written this console dot right line statement so this print me will be accepting object of that imply and fetching those data and then printing into this console window that's what this print me method is doing okay now come to the class name program so here we have main method which is nothing but the entry point of this application okay so now what i have done i have written this statement demo of object initializer in c sharp because so i am just giving the demo of the object initializer right and then what i have given the heading over here traditional way without using object initializer in c sharp so here we are not going to use the object initializer so here we are going to use the traditional way how we used to generate an object for any particular type right so for that purpose what i have done i have created an object of this imply class and that's what i have written imply e1 is equal to new imply after creation of object of this imply class what i am doing i am accessing its properties and assigning value to it that's what this statement is doing e1 dot id is equal to 1 e1 dot first name is equal to harry e1 dot last name is equal to potter and e1 dot age is equal to 20 so i have created an instance of imply and access properties and assign value to it so that's what this statement are doing so now what i am doing i am creating an instance of several imply class based on different different parameters here i have passed id here i have passed id and first name and here i have passed first name and the last name and accordingly this constructor is going to get invoked for creating an object of that particular imply class and assigning the properties values accordingly so here what i am doing i am just calling this print me method for each object that's what i have written e1 dot print me and i'm passing parameter as a e1 e1 is nothing but the object of that imply class right similarly e2 e3 e4 right so what it will do it, it is just going to invoke this print me method and print this console dot right line statement that's the traditional way now i'm just going to see the demo of the with using object initializer in c sharp so here basically i am using object initializers okay for that what i have done i have written this object initializer so he imply imply one is equal to new imply as we have already know that we need to write opening and curly braces and closing curly braces should have this semicolon because every statement in csa we usually end up with the semicolon that's what we need to put it here so here in between what i am doing i am just assigning values to the properties and that's what i have written id is equal to one first name is equal to harry last name is equal to potter age is equal to 21 okay now what i am doing i am just going to create object like this only okay but this is the traditional way and here what i am doing i am using the object initializer here i am also doing the same thing i am just passing this id is equal to one okay now imply three is equal to imply here i am passing id and the first name with the help of object initializer and then imply four here i am passing first name and the last name right so first name is equal to harry last name is equal to potter and then finally imply 1 imply 2 imply 3 imply 4 i'm just calling this print p method I'm passing this object of that particular 
imply okay so imply one dot print me imply one imply two dot print me imply two similarly for three and four also okay so now you have seen i have written two way one is the traditional way and the second one is the object initializer way right okay let me execute this program and see the output okay so output got appear into this console window if you see demo of object initializer in c sharp it got printed and this traditional way without using object initializer in c sharp so here if you see id is equal to one first name is equal to harry last name is equal to potter a is equal to 21 got printed similarly if you compare with the using object initializers what is the value got printed id is equal to one first name is equal to harry last name is equal to potter a is equal to 21 right the first statement of this traditional way and the first statement of the object in israel both are same similarly for second third and fourth also are matching with this traditional way second third and fourth right so basically what we use to achieve using the traditional way we can do so with the help of object initializer in c sharp also right okay let me do let, let me show one more thing right for example, I'm just closing this. Now, what I'm doing, see, uh, but this one we need to have when we are using this parameterized constructor. We need to have this in traditional way. This constructor, right? So let me let me do one thing. Let me just comment this part. Okay, let me comment this. Now there is a no constructor I have written. Okay, and then what I'm doing? I'm just going to comment this part also traditional way right so that one is also got come now if you see i'm just going to use this object initializer so for that we are going to achieve the same thing but we don't have any parameterized constructor written so we are saving this much line of the code right so let me execute this and so the output the output will be same only okay only the thing is the traditional way is not going to get printed but with the help of object initializers in CSA, we are going to achieve the same output without having this parameterized constructor. Okay, so let me execute this and show the output to you. Okay, so output got appear into this console window. And if you see, this output is same only, right? ID is equal to one, first name is equal to Harry, last name is equal to Potter, age is equal to 20. And this is the second line statement, third line statement, and fourth line statement that basically we have created object with the help of object initializer and assign value to it and all those values i'm just going to print it with the help of print me method right and without parameterized constructor still we are going to get it right the same output so we are saving this much line of code right and we can achieve multiple combination also for example here here i am just you know put this four if I want to put on the ID and first name, we can do so. If if I want ID is equal to one and last name, that we can also do so, right? So it's up to us how we are going to assign the value. We don't need to have this, you know, parameterized constructor for this. So multiple combination we can play with with the help of object initializers. We can save this much line of the code. If you see this object initializer, it's very easy and readable right this is the employee object these are the properties values we have assigned to it okay so now that brings me to end of my session to sum up in this video we saw what object initializer in c sharp are why it is needed and then we saw its example to understand it better that's all for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already thanks for watching see you next video